Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Morfrey. In today's video, I want to show you a strategy. I will call it 4-hour strategy, 4-hour strategy. Um, in this strategy, you'll be able to know uh, how to use 4-hour time frame to be able to place in trades and what triggers your entries and what to look for. In this strategy, I'll be using 20 EMA as our guide. The reason why we use 20 EMA is because sometimes we tend to forget the key things that we need to look. Our mind is not wired to keep on um, uh, printing this uh this uh, information on the chart to keep on printing the rules but when the 20 ma is there it's an indicator that can help us to be able to understand what is really happening in the market so one thing that i need to tell you before you open a chart and you jump in to buy or to sell this strategy is easy you just need to know the direction of the market and you'll be helped by 20 ema so today i will show you how to deal with 20 ma on four hour so i'm calling it four hour strategy so if you don't have 20 ma all you do you go to indicators you see here indicators and type moving average it's exponential moving average when you type moving average like that you will find moving average exponential where is it this one moving average exponential i have favorite it it is this one moving average exponential then you click it once if you click it once let me click once like that it will come with uh it will have the default nine but when you go to settings you will change the nine to 20 because we need 20 and then you will change the style you'll change the style to be red uh red and then you will make it bold so that's how that's how we we use 20 ma and because i had to i'll just cancel one i'll just cancel that one because i already have 20 ma so 20 ma you go to indicators put your 20 ma and you're good and 20 ma this strategy you need it to know the direction of the market guys i've told you in this channel that anytime you want to trade any time frame first of all you need to know which direction we have in the market so guys which direction do you think this market is going let me first delete delete everything so which direction do you think this market is going of course we are on an upward trend something that i've come to realize is that to trade uh, this market upward uh buying it is much much easier than trying to sell because the minute you try to do reversal in the market sometimes you get very very discouraged if you don't know how to approach reversals uh patterns or when to enter reversals so whenever i find that this market has been going up i can even put a trend line like that there are those who use trend line but for us the reason why we are we are saying 20 ma we will use 20 ma to guide us so i can start using my trend line because i want to see how stiff this information is ah not information the price so you can see the price uh, it's respecting our trend line. So for us, we are not interested in doing any other thing than buying because we don't want to keep on guessing that the market will do what. We don't want to keep keep guessing the market will reverse and we are waiting for sell that will never appear. So us, we will continue with the sell. But for this strategy, I want to show you when you stop out. Uh, we will continue with buy. But the strategy, it's for you to show when things switch off. When do you stop buying on an upward trend? When is this move? When does this move end? So, first of all, we put the 20 MA. You can see when I put the 20 MA. So, uh, at this case, if you are if you are very confident that you will do a buy and the market has it's retracing, all we need to see it's a green candle. We put WBB so that we can continue with the uptrend. So let's see the next candle. So the next candle is almost touching 20 MA. And now we have started uh, coming up. So you will uh, put a box there. If the market breaks this box, it's the end of retracement. So we will put WBB. So if the market breaks that box, it's the end of retracement. Guys, I've told you, it is very, very clear that this market is uptrend. Don't try to come and do reversals. Don't 
come here and try to sell. That is something that many people go wrong. You are trying to sell the market and um, the trend line has not been broken. The 20 MA has not been broken. This market may continue going up. So let's see if the market broke the box. So the market broke the box. So in this case, you just need to you just need to put um to go to maybe daily, weekly to know where is this market going. So that because uh if you try to flip on your four hour, you can't see anywhere the market is getting targeted. So you can just go to to weekly to see where is this if this market continue to go up, where is it where is it going? So let's try to pull like this. So if I pull on weekly, I can be able to see clearly. You see here, the market may try to come around this place, 174. So the market is trying to come at that 174. Because on daily you can't see anything, it has broken every every area that you would have thought this market. The market is at this zone here. So the market may come to 174. So that's our target. So when you go to 4 hour, I need to know how many pips to 174. How many pips? Because there are very, very many pips. So all I do is to come, I know how many pips to 174. There are 987. So what I do, I'll, I'll first target half. I'll just target half of this. That's what I do. I'll just target half of that. And then if at all we have any reaction and I'm on this trade, I'll just close it. So that's, that is what you do. You target that. But if there is a reaction, if the reaction, I mean, if buyers are unable to, if you get somewhere there is indecision, buyers are unable to break the market like this. Let's say this, we get something like this. This is what I mean. If we get something like this, the market is constant. Uh, stagnant at one place for so long you need to close the trade you put your box until it breaks you continue with the buy so i'll just play it and see if it reached to half of our target and if i spot a market that is not moving i'll just close it so let's see what happens so the market kept going we can see um you can see let me show you something uh the market came almost hitting our TP. Now from this area where the market broke all the way up, it went how many pips? 326 pips before it went to retrace. So what I do, I'll just put, this is a small zone. If the market comes and misbehave again in this place, I'll just, you just close that trade. But many people, 326, there are so many pips for you. There are people who target 100 pips, 50 pips, 150 pips. So it all depends with you. So let's play and see what really happened. So the market again tried. You can see now the market, it's like it does not want to come at this zone. You see, it is, uh, real, uh, it is, uh, it is on one place. So when you start identifying the market is in one place, what you do, you just close the trade. I've told you, you can see this is what I was telling you guys. Yes, you want the market to come all the way here, but you can see there was a box created. So if you entered again or you had uh, you had remained with this box, you just close. Again, something that you need to observe, all along the market was not breaking the 20 MA. But guess what? Here, the market broke 20 MA. So the minute the market broke 20 MA, it was an indication that this market will drop. So the, the 20 MA, it is there for you to know that sellers have shifted. The sell has shifted to, uh, the buyers have shifted to sell. So the minute you see the market has broken the 20 MA, not only the 20 MA, but it has broken even your trend line. So guys, at this moment, if you start thinking to sell, if you start thinking to sell, you can sell this market if you start thinking to sell. So we will still use our WBB to know if we sell this market up to where we are targeting. So we will use this um, trend line. So we have a trend line there. And then we have the, this, we have this zones. So we have uh, this zone. So the market may approach this zone. You see this one. So that's the exact place that we may target if the market will drop. And until it breaks that support, we are not selling again. So let's see what happened. 
So after ET break, we can see some re retest. Some retest, if you want to know uh, if the end of the retest, you'll just put a box like that and you can see the market broke that box. So it was a good entry and because we have where we are, in, uh, we are targeting. So these are strategies that you do. Remember when we came in in this market, we our mind was focused on buy. The reason why we have shifted it's because the 20 MA and the and the and the trend line they have been broken. So that's what we are targeting. And uh, how many pips are we targeting? 212. So in this case, you cannot be thinking to buy again. Why? Because 20 MA, the market is on four hour 20 MA has been broken. Just know that the market is most likely to drop. So let's see what happened. So the market dropped and touched our um, our trend line, our zone, and you can see the market is at our zone. You can see very, very clearly. Like the market touched our trend line, touched our zone, and that's what I'm saying, guys. The 20 MA, it has helped so many people. There are so many people who didn't want to sell. Like for me, I could not sell when the market was here. But immediately it broke the 20 MA. It broke the trend line. I put my WBB box. It has broken. What else do you want, guys? You have three confirmation that this market now sellers are willing to sell, to sell and to, to make this market go down. So one thing that you need to understand, this strategy is very simple. You come in with a mind of where the market is going. If you ever find a market that is a very, very uptrend or a downtrend, don't think of reversing if 20 MA has not been broken. Just put your 20 MA. If it is broken, that's when you can start shifting. We can see all along the 20 MA was not broken. It was not broken. They broke 20 MA here. You see where they broke? Like here, we broke 20 MA. And then the target was this zone. You see, this was the zone that we were targeting. So after the 20 MA was, was broken, if you sold, you could have sold from this direction to here until the support. This support was not broken. That's why the market continued going up. So that support was never broken. Even if 20 MA was broken, there was another obstacle. The support was not broken. You can see here. So the minute you know, yes, the sellers are willing to take this market down, but we have up to where you identify your support and you say, I will sell up to this point until now the market breaks support. I will not enter again. If they don't break, I'm not willing to enter. So until they break, I will end. I will continue selling. So they didn't break and the market continue going up. Now we have the similar, we have this setup. Now it is here. It is here. The market has broken this zone. That's why it's continued to, it started breaking the first one. You can see the first one was broken and that's where the 20 MA was broken. And then it broke this zone. You can see this zone was broken. Zone A was broken, B was broken. All these zones were broken. Now we have the major one. And this is where we have a consolidation. All these zones were broken. So unless, unless they break this zone, we cannot come and identify this zone. So there's also a, this zone. And unless they break here, they come, they break here, you will start targeting your support. You start targeting those areas. So what I can encourage you guys, even if you are doing swing trading, you need to know there are zones in the market. Trade zone per zone and you'll be good to go. So that's our strategy for four hour. Tomorrow I'll give you strategy for daily, I'll give you strategy for weekly, and I'll give you strategy for monthly. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this video, uh, to this channel, and let's see you. Let's, uh, let me see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.